So as soon as we turn on our power, we should see these blinking like so. So just make sure that's actually happening. That means we do have some power running through this. So at this point, what I recommend is holding this down for 20 seconds until this happens. However, it's already happening. So let's go back into our app and everything's gonna be from there. At this point, we're gonna add a device and uh, yep, we're gonna add that on. So right here, we're gonna get a lot of options. And in this case, this is a Wi-Fi switch. So just scroll down, you can see switch, Wi-Fi. And we're gonna go ahead and select our network, which is this right here, add in our password. Once we put in our password, let's just go into next. We are gonna save this password. So we can see that it is blinking quite fast. So one, two, three, it's blinking quite a few times. So we're just gonna go on and go on to next. And we should see this scanning. So it should be scanning for this at this point in time. And we should see this message prompting. So ensure that Wi-Fi signal is good. Ensure that device is powered on. So just after a bit, we should see this. So switch to and then switch. This is fine. I'm just gonna leave it as is for now, hit done. So switch to and just switch. We're pretty much done at this point in time because we just added them and we can just click on them for example. And right now we can turn on and off or we can just go into other switch and turn it on or off. So you guys could see it's turning on and off. Of course my other switch you can't see because that's actually for outdoors. But other than that, we are all done. Uh, the last step would be to pair this with Google Home, if you guys have Google Home, which uh, we're actually gonna take care of that in our next step, since we're done with our basics for now. So before we get started with adding Google or Alexa into this, we should rename our switches to be what we want. So right now we do have two switches that's under Home, and what we're gonna do is tap on them and just tap on them again. And on top, you're gonna see this sign. So we're just gonna rename this to something that makes sense to us. So for example, switch two, we are gonna rename it to outdoor light because that's exactly what it is. So outdoor light, confirm. Once we do that, there's other stuff down here below. So for example, we have Alexa, Google Assistant, and so on. We can just go on and see more, okay? And uh, for this particular video, we're gonna do Google Assistant. Something else, if we sc keep scrolling down, and go all the way down, I wanna show you that you can remove this device from here, as well as updates. Updates is really good to know. So turn this on to automatically update. That's very important, actually, for both of them. You should turn on automatic updates. I usually tell you in my videos to never turn on automatic updates, but in this case, you will probably miss out a lot of updates if you don't turn that on. So we're gonna scroll up, we're gonna go into Google Assistant. We're gonna link this up. So down here below, we're gonna see link with Google Assistant. So we're gonna go ahead and press right there. Now what this will do is open up our Google Home app and then it's gonna take us here. So we can link it up. So just type in your email and then your password. Once you put in your email and your password, that would be for this app, okay? Not your Google Home app, but your password for the app for the Switch. And then just press unauthorize. Now on your screen, you should see this. Outdoor light and then Switch. I haven't renamed that Switch yet. I will right now. Um, however, I just want to show you with this outdoor light. So we're gonna choose actually both devices. Let's just start off with this one. And we're gonna go into next. From there, it's gonna ask us to choose our home. Once we do that, just go over and choose which room or create a new room. So in this case, we do have front ER in here in the list. So we're gonna add that on, go into next. If you already have a room, then you're good to go. You don't have to select something new. And we can choose switch. So this switch is another one that's from the inside. So I'm just gonna go ahead, add that on, go into next again. I uh, choose my home and then from there it's gonna ask me where's this device so this one is actually my living room so I'm gonna choose living room and I'm gonna go into next by the way all of everything that we did right now we can always change later on so down here below we should see front yard and then living room I should see my switch so I can turn this on or off 
So right now we are all done. I can just say, hey Google, turn on lights, living room. And Google will also make that noise in the background as well. I can tell, hey Google, turn off lights, living room. So that noise is coming from my Google Home, not from the switch itself. Also your switch, you might notice that this is the steady light that you should have at this point. And when I tell it to turn on, hey Google, turn on lights, living room, this will change. So you guys can see that only this one's that bluish color and this one isn't. Hey Google, turn off lights, living room. There we go. And then it's back to this bluish light. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.